earth. That's why it's called tribulation. The great tribulation period. The Bible didn't just say, oh, it's just a tribulation period. Great. That means a mass. That means excessive destruction, excessive dismay, disarray, depression, oppression. Oh my gosh, the devil's the devil's really going to be on the rampage. So basic then so what he really what he's trying to do now is cause a blockage as it pertains to people stepping into the knowledge of truth and forming a relationship with jesus christ who is our only blessed hope jesus is going to stand in the gap for all of us but only for those of us that are willing participants to accept him if you reject him he'll reject you if you're ashamed of him he'll be ashamed of you that's why if somebody may say well jesus ain't gonna reject nobody well he's gonna say i never knew you what is that He's rejecting things that are not of himself, of his character, of his substance, not a citizen of the kingdom of God. And see, as believers, believers should know that, uh, we're, yeah, we're citizens of whatever country we are born in in the 3D, but we're citizens of, the, of another, of a faraway land. We're citizens of the kingdom of God. Now, think about that for a minute. You are a citizen of a land, a faraway land you've never laid eyes on, but you're a citizen. That means you belong there. Legally, you belong there. Jesus holds the legal rights to you. Oh, my God. That should make somebody feel good today. That should make somebody, even if you're on the city streets today, you feel like you don't belong. Nobody loves you. Jesus holds the legal rights to you. Oh, my God. You're just down here passing through. You're going to sojourn. But one day, he's going to return. And we're going to hit the road jet. And we ain't coming back no more, no more. Oh, my God. Who am I talking to? Who am I talking to? Jesus is coming. That's what the real thing is. Jesus is coming back. And, um, you guys, we already live in a world where you really can't trust anybody. And you just imagine in, during the Great Tribulation period how many people are going to be on their cell phones. Um, perhaps, if they're permitted, calling um, police stations and guards and posts that people have set up to say, we just saw a group of uh, believers over there in the woods. We saw them running through the woods with, a, with some children. Or, or we just saw some believers um, picking apples off that tree over there trying to eat. Or we, and then uh, a bunch of tankers and armed forces come rushing in. And you know they're coming to Russia for those people's demise. You ain't seen nothing yet. You turn on your TV, you hear wars and rumors of wars, and you see wars on TV and on the internet. You ain't seen nothing yet. You're talking about betrayal. You're talking about turning folks in. You're talking about a wicked world. Oh, my gosh. Don't think people aren't going to turn you in. How you going to eat if you reject Jesus? How you going to eat? How you going to bathe? How you gonna take a shower? How you gonna iron your clothes? How you gonna wash your clothes? How you gonna um, have um, what? Where's your financial stability gonna come from? Where you gonna cook your food? What store can you walk in? What market can you walk in and buy your food? Because let me tell you something: the markets that you're walking in right now, if they are still in uh, business during the Great Tribulation period. You might walk in there, but you ain't going to walk out with nothing because they all are going to be transformed into the beast system. If you don't have the mark of the beast, you cannot buy nor sell. And a lot of people right now, you're having a hard enough time even getting a decent amount of food stamps. So you could just imagine when that mark of the beast um, thing comes into uh, actual fruition, going down to social services talking about you want to apply uh, for some food stamps or for some food. Do you have the mark? Do you do you have the legal rights to, according to the matrix, to go make a purchase in this world? You're going to have to provide proof that you have the mark. But let me tell you something about the mark. A lot of people may say, well, why don't they just go on and get it and just get it over with? Because to accept the mark is damnation. You just damned your soul for all eternity into hell. People may say, now, wait a minute. A lot of people may seem like, they may feel like that's extreme, but it's the word of God. Because first of all, that beast system is not of God. 
And there's a reason why Jesus said, love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. If any man love the world, the love of the Father is not in him. God is telling you that this world has nothing in him. Uh, uh, Jesus said that Satan has nothing in him. Satan is not a part of God anymore. He never was. When he was a part of God, he was not, um, he was not classified as Satan. His name was Lucifer. And see, he can't even carry the, the name and the title of Lucifer anymore because he's not seen as Lucifer in, anymore.